Hello, my name is Chris. This is Chris Must List. I'm here. Today's video is going to be about illegal migrants and migration from the Mexico side to the U.S. side. We're going to search for illegal migrants. All from China. Uh, Vietnamese. Vietnamese. China, Vietnamese. Feet are planted in the USA, but one quick little leap into Mexico. So this big Trump wall, we'll call it, extends thousands of miles, 30 feet tall. But right here, it's almost like they ran out of material. In today's video, I'm gonna go on the hunt and look and see if I can find migrants, talk to them, find out why they're looking to come into the USA. Mom. See, scared, scared and nervous, yeah. yeah. Does she know what's gonna happen next? Si sabes que va a pasar, ya ya hablaron con ustedes. If you guys enjoy my type of content, I'm trying my best to upload once a day. I'm a world traveler. The channel is Christmas List. If you enjoy my content, hit that like, share, subscribe. Let's begin our day. Yes, I'm with my newfound friend. Maybe you can introduce yourself. Hey, my name is Alfredo Moran, a local resident here in Central California. Uh, was a board patrol agent for 13 years, term publisher now here. Um, the Quite difference. the difference, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the word I'm looking for. Still early in the morning, I can't. My tongue's oh, not I working know. properly. Same here, same here. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. You know what? We He connected with me, I don't know, probably two weeks ago. Yeah. Possibly even longer, and it's been on my mind. I couldn't wait to get back in his neighborhood. So, yeah, I'm excited to learn learn as much as I can. Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll head out east. Um, I don't know if you saw the dunes on the way in, uh, the sand dunes. We can head out that way. Yeah. That's where they like to cross at. Man, I'm all yours. Come back this way, we'll head west. Sounds good, sounds good. Um, so yeah, so I started working up in the mountains in uh, Boulevard, Boulevard Station, right? So I was there for about eight and a half years. Um, and I loved it, man. Uh, to me, it was like I was getting paid to play uh, hide and go seek. Basically. Yeah, it seems, I was, gonna, <laughs> yeah. Could, I was gonna use the same comparison. Yeah. Like an adult game. But more, more on the line. Yeah, and so, you know, it, it really taught me a lot. I, I normally wouldn't have learned as a, as a civilian, to be honest. Right, but uh, but prior to that, any policing? And no, 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 honestly, yeah, and it doesn't run in my family. Nobody's okay. law enforcement or military or anything. I'm the first one um, to actually become law enforcement. So yep. it was new for everybody. Uh, I remember when I used to work midnights, my dad wouldn't couldn't sleep. Yeah, <laughs> he was like I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. And, and was it busier in the the daytime or at nighttime? You know what? It, it's always busy. It's okay. Daytime, nighttime. Um, it does die down. Um, usually, like when it starts getting really cold or really hot, and they start focusing either at night or during the day. Right. Um, but for the most part, man, they love it. If it's raining, storming, that's like perfect because then they know that our equipment doesn't work right. Right. right when, when we're out there. So I'm just gonna grab some gas real quick. So, so, so back in like 2017, 18, we were doing great, man. Trump gave us this huge budget, all new vehicles. Like we were killing it. And we shut the border down basically. Um, but, you know, once the administration came in, the new administration came in with Biden, uh, he just totally turned our agency into a political weapon is what he did. He, right tied our hands behind our backs. So we went basically from Border Patrol to the Welcome Patrol. That's all we were doing was just bringing people in. But I mean, for example, when Trump was around, if you caught somebody, oh, you're was, turning them around oh, and yeah. putting them back. No, we were, we were either catching them, if they were Mexican citizens and we were catching them here on the border, it was a quick turnaround, just send them right back, which is the way it used to be. Right. Uh, back in the day when I first came in, we called them quick VRs, a quick voluntary return. As long as you are clean, you didn't have a record, nothing, bam, back to Mexico, right? Right. Um, and he, he fixed, because we were spending, honestly, at least $2 billion a year in taxpayer money flying these people back to Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, you know, all those countries that are coming over here. Um, and so what happened is, so that killed that budget and that fixed a lot of our problems because what he told Mexico was, hey, if they come in through here, they go back through here. That's yeah. it. It's done. Yeah. You know, we're not paying for it anymore. Yeah. Just, we're just temporary. You know, we're not like a prison. Right. You know, Border Patrol doesn't, is not set up like a prison. You know, we just stay there for years. It's only meant to be 72 hours, at the most. And so when these guys are showing so up... So there's a spot here right now today that still holds illegals, or what is the process? So Yeah, so now, um, as far as I know, these, these guys are still being OR'd. So they're coming in, 
And they're getting released on their own recognizance, basically, and giving wow. a, a paper that says, hey, show up to court on this date, right? Um, but honestly, the, the, the I think the percentages we're getting of, of people, sorry, of people um, showing up to court dates is super low. Yeah, man. I can you know imagine. I mean? so. Hey, Chris, you've uh, broken the law. Yeah. You're in a new country. I uh, request of you to come back. Yeah, here's $2,500. Yeah. Here's the EBT card. Make sure you're here on this date. <laughs> Please yeah. come back to court. Yeah. Like, I had a group of four jump here, right? And run up to the canal bank, cross. I was on the other side. I came up to them. And when I got there, I pulled three out, right? And I told the guys, I said, hey, we saw four on the camera, dude. Where's the other one? And they didn't want to say anything. They just stayed quiet. And I said, look, dude, if he's like drowning or something, you got to tell me, right? Like, I wouldn't say anything. Sure enough, I was like down right here in this spot right here, like two days later, and then I just see this body just floating in the canal. Oh. And uh, and sure enough, yeah, I call it in. The sheriffs come out here. The coroner comes out here, and that was the that was the guy that we were missing from that group before, right? Like, and so we went back. Man, I was pissed. So I went back and found those three guys, and I interrogated them for like for a while. And I said, look, dude, you know these are people's lives you're you're you're, you're throwing away here, man. Like. Right now, as we stand here, what is watching us? Are there cameras that can see us right now? Yeah. So if you look down that way, you can almost see like a giant post. Looking yes, thing. yes, yeah. yes. So that's one there. Uh, but it can down. see us right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. They're watching us. Yeah, yeah, they can see us. Um, they have dude, they have camera. There's everything out here, dude. Like, um, so there's, there's, you know, obviously there's still times when people will get through and get away. You know, you can't, yeah. it's, it's impossible to 100% shut it down, but... It's very, very, you know, you, you can say 30 feet, yeah. but I mean, when I'm standing here, feels like 100, huh? that feels, <laughs> can, like, you imagine falling can even see the, yeah, the fingerprints. Yeah. So you you can tell, so look, you can tell where they like to climb and come down at, because look, you can yeah. see where they're, where they're real dirty. Oh, look at this, eh? You can see it all the yeah, way. where it's real dirty. All yeah. the way up. So this is a big right spot right here where they cross a lot, and you can tell, look. But how are they climbing down? With a ladder on this side? Yeah, I told you, like, they're, they're always cutting it. Okay. And then we're always fixing, look how many times we've fixed this already. Probably like, with the backside too, probably like five or six times. And they're only cutting this much? Yeah. So what? all I got to do is cut this side, and then they just swing it to the side, and then okay, they come through. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, look at all this. Look at all the fingerprints. It's got to be, it can't be that old. You think yeah. with the water, the rain. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, and that's the thing too, man. Like, yeah. And see, when I come through here, when I used to come through here, if I see webs, I'd be like, all right, well, nobody's come through here in a while. You know, okay, the cobwebs, yeah. yeah. But if I come through here and I know it's a heavy uh, heavy area like this and I, and I don't see the webs, I'm like, I start looking around. I'm like, oh, man. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. on the other side is a... Uh, well, it just looked like a junkyard. Yeah. Looking yeah, for more. Thing. So as we're going down, you'll see guys that there's guys that literally are make mud bricks right here. Like they have these huge like ovens that they built, these urns, and they just get the dirt and the mud and the clay, and they just yeah. make. That's all they do. All they do is make bricks. And they sell them here in town. Obviously, dirt cheap. You know, they don't make much out of it. But... Yeah, so for the most part, this whole going all the way down. It's nuts really to me because, like again, my mindset is if I'm going to do this, I'd rather travel two days away and go to a less populated area. But the evidence is in front of us. Oh, yeah. The people are doing this right here. Oh, yeah. I'm, honestly, I'm surprised. We haven't had anybody come down yet. Like, I haven't seen an And I'm, I'm, now that I'm looking, I'm seeing it everywhere. Yeah. So look, if you walk down this way more, there's, there's another spot right here. You can see where they're, where they're crossing a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm worried you guys don't see it with my camera, but what we see is the dust. Like if I were to touch the ground and touch, this is what we're seeing. All the way up and all the way down. Let's say a thousand people come over here over yeah. the course of six months. Yeah. How many people are actually getting away with it? Like without being caught, that's period. Good, that's a good question, man. Or, or are, no, are we at a numbers. point now that they want to be caught? Well, if you're not Mexican, you want to be caught. Yeah. And if you're Mexican, you don't want to be caught. So those are, that's, that's the issue we have right now, um, is that people that are of Mexican descent can't stay. And so they're going to keep coming like that, right? So what, what kind of percentage um, would you give? I know it's just a very rough estimate, but in, what percentage career, of people are getting through? From my experience, through my career, I would say... At least we're probably getting maybe half, maybe less. Through. You're catching. Yeah. 
I would say we're probably catching about half, maybe less. And even if those people are caught, they're returned, they still have the likelihood oh, that they're going to the try. Oh, they're back again. again. Yeah, yeah, I've caught people, like, I don't know how many times I've processed people, and I'm like, man, I caught you last, like, two weeks ago. Yeah, you know yeah. them by name. Yeah. What about the unfortunate situation where people die? How often have you found, was that the only time oh, you found no, a dead body? No, there's, there's been, well, here's the thing. So, this mountain here, this grade, is super dangerous, and so, especially during the winter. And so is it all can, the way up there at the? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, and we'll go that way too, uh, if you have time. But, yeah, yeah. So, we're always usually the first on scene with like accidents, you know, car accidents, stuff like that. But even with, with um, you know, the people crossing, trying to get in here. Uh, yeah, we found, you know, man, I found people that were like frozen. I f we found one guy one time. He, this is how bad he didn't want to get caught. Obviously, he was, he was of Mexican descent. But he had gotten bit by a rattlesnake, and his hand was like like this Big. huge already from the poison, like just affecting, you know. And, and I'm like, bro, what are you doing? <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. I didn't want to get caught. I was like, you're going to die, dude. Yeah. Um, Seeing some fire, so. And, uh, and that's the thing people don't understand. Like, uh, Border Patrol's job, 95% of the time, is rescue. Like, yeah, you don't want people to die. Yeah, we're, we're catching people that are starving, that haven't had water. There, there was an agent one time, remember, he found... Uh, uh, it was the skeleton of somebody that passed an illegal and he knew it wasn't illegal because the wallet was still there with the ID in it and then, But it was literally just bones So who knows how long that guy had been out there? Yeah I'm looking for footprints, but I'm only seeing dogs. Oh, yeah, so What I used to do or what I love doing when I used to do this is I would take the tires You'll see them. They call them drags. So we take the tires. Well, you see like one right there laying there. Yeah uh, and It'll take like three or four uh, tires deep and then we'll drag it across like first thing in the morning or on your shift Okay, and then what you do is you just come back, you know and drive through over and over and over looking like you said Yeah, for, for people coming this way. So I'm into it. Yeah, man. Hey, maybe in my next life I'm gonna be a border patrol in Canada. I don't know how many people are trying hey, to hiring. <laughs> trying to get into Canada <laughs> But these are bones Yeah Probably animal bones. Yeah animal bones. There's a lot like look at all these are here. It's weird, right? Yeah, why? I don't know. Is it animal? Yeah are you what well, you're sure? Well, I'm not positive, but maybe one of your viewers can leave a yeah. comment and see if they like, I'm trying to look to see if anything really stands out. I've never seen this Let's many. See got, like, their pigs right here. Okay, maybe that's why. Yeah. But so, weird that it would come here. So I don't know, maybe this is what they're feeding them. This is like the leftover. Just you know, leftover, like, that's uh, the beginning of a, a, right here, a horror movie. You yeah. feed the bodies to the pigs. <laughs> I think there was a movie like that, right? Yeah, that's what the the mafia is yeah. known to do. Chop people up and feed them. Because these are definitely cut bones, yeah, look. Yeah. Chopped up. Anybody, can you guys tell us what kind of bones? Yeah, and so it's cool, like, when you drive on, oh, see, look. Even, it doesn't have to be dirty, but see how you can see the difference color, the color yes, and the metal yes, change? Yes. Yeah, because they're always sliding down right there. Amigo, que haciendo? <laughs> Any migrants today? Oh, Ayuda me. Well, they like you, that's for sure. Yeah. You guys yeah. never come over here like that. Yeah. Look at the way they're kept. Yeah. Pigs are kept like pigs. Yeah. Why well, a lot of people don't eat pork, right? Yeah. Me, on the other hand, I eat everything. Camel, yeah, no, rat, yeah. I've eaten the rat, guinea pig, kangaroo. Well, I've seen some of the stuff you guys eat. But <laughs> like, actually pour cement down there to keep them cutting it. So, a lot of evidence. You know what would make this video perfect? We gotta, we gotta find a migrant. Yeah. Wouldn't that yeah, be we gotta, amazing? We gotta keep going down the line here and see if we can find somebody. What would you do if you found somebody? And would there be a trouble? I thought of this when I was doing it on my own. Um, I'm like, if I saw somebody and I give them my water, would I be somehow helping them? No, no. No, so like, yeah, you can you can give them water, you can give them food. But what would you do right now? I would probably do the same. Like yeah. if I saw somebody, I'm like, hey, you need water, you yeah. want something to eat, you know, and offer them something. I mean, I used to do that all the time. Like there's been times where I used to catch kids, like juvies, and I'd be like, man, when's the last time you had something to eat? And they'd be like, oh, it's been like two or three days, and I'll just take my lunch and yeah. hand it to them, you know? Yeah. Like, here, dude, and they'd be like, oh, my God, thank you. You know, some people don't realize and understand uh, me being born in Canada. I know how lucky I am yeah. to imagine uh, being a father with a young child and risking your life and yeah. risking your child's life uh, for a better future. I, it's hard for me to say this, but it's almost like... A, 
it's commendable, but you wish it was done in a different yeah. manner. Well, here's this the is not thing, the way man. to do it. The, and one of the things Trump was trying to change is that the system in place for people to apply and come in here is so like drawn out, like long, like it takes forever. And that's why a lot of these people get desperate and they just say, you know what, I'm just gonna come yeah. on in. Like one time I caught a guy up here in the mountains and you know, over the years you get an idea when you start like running up to people, like, okay, this guy, he might be a little iffy, you know? Um, and he seemed iffy. And so when we got back to the station, Come to find out, this guy was a professional boxer. He was like 20 and 0. Yeah. Uh, you know, 20 knockouts, zero losses. Going to Vegas, and I said, dude, what are you doing? He's like, dude, they, they didn't approve my visa, man. And this is like my big, big fight. Like, this is, I need this fight. Like, this is like my big one. And uh, he was trying to get in through and get through it. And so I told him, I said, why didn't you do anything, man? Obviously, you could have just knocked me out. And he's like, nah, that's not what I'm here for. Yeah. You know, so there is good people out there. There's people that are just no, coming no here to, doubt. you know, make a better life. But. but what I love about where I used to work here is I knew when somebody crossed because it would be wet <laughs> on that side, right? Of them running across. So as soon as you drove through and you saw this wet stuff going across the rail, you're like, dang it! All right, somebody just you call it in and go, hey, uh, you know, two across, three across. Um, and all they're trying to do. So the appeal to this area is because the road is like right there right so they're just trying to get to that road right there and get loaded up in that vehicle and then take off so most of the times they keep them in hotels here locally and then they wait for like a storm or or something right they have their scouts go drive up and down the mountains all the time looking at the checkpoints to see when they're closed right but when they're closed or when there's a storm then they load everybody up and then they put them in the vehicles and then they take them north either to la or, or philadelphia or no, this is rocks inside. Oh, is it? So what would they use this for? Let me see. Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe to, to you know, like a weapon. Maybe, eh? Weird. weird. But no footprints. No, that's what's weird. I guess that would be the only thing you would use it for, right? Yeah, that's quite heavy, actually. Yeah. No, it's it's almost like, you know, you put the, the pool balls, billiard balls, inside a sock. Yeah. This is like a jailhouse. Uh, <laughs> it is quite heavy. Hurt, yeah, very strange to see that on the street, just sitting like that. Yeah. So that's what they do, you know. They hide out there, and then yeah. for the wait for the right time, and then you can see where they come down on that side, and then. And they love doing it like right here where these tree lines are because they know they can jump, run into those tree lines, and then just disappear. Disappear. Yeah. And they're just trying to get to the 98 where they can load up, and then they're gone. I mean, you imagine like. If there was a car every day loading up here with you know four or five illegals getting to LA you know every week I mean, even three or four cars right a week I mean how much money is that man these yeah. guys are paying nine grand each like yeah if you go to Vegas like on the strip you'll see a lot of these people that have crossed here I'm yeah working over there because they can't afford to pay their bill <laughs> to the cartels and so the cartels force them into free, free into work yeah pay their bill so they're out there handing out like pamphlets and stuff um. so as we're driving you can see rope some more evidence wow that is quite the height I cannot imagine you can see the the rope has loopholes which I'll zoom in with my iPhone so I'll show you guys what it looks like So it's like a makeshift ladder, little spots to put your feet. So we just pulled over, he talked to an old friend here. Uh, no names, naming names, names. No, no, <laughs> no but, names. But he said he caught two people today. Yeah, just uh, about an hour ago. Um, so he said lately they've been getting a lot of give ups, which is weird. I guess they haven't had that lately, but he said, yeah, that there was a couple people that did pass here, uh, what we call Zone 10, which is over by the mall here in Calexico. So what happens is they jump the fence, they jump into the canal. What they don't realize is even though the canal looks calm, the water looks, looks, very, looks calm. very calm, yeah. peaceful. Underneath, it's just roaring. And so what it'll do is it'll just pull them down. If you can't swim, like if you don't have any skills at all to swim, yours will sink like a rock. Deceiving, if you saw the river on video it looks very very calm yeah it looks almost like you just sit in there and just chill but it's not it's the opposite uh, and so 
So when these guys sink like that, it usually takes about two days before the body builds enough gas floats to the top. So what he had said is zone 11 during the change. The shift change. The yeah. shift change. Uh, he's like, you'll find something. Yeah, yeah, somebody will be jumping. Don't get me excited. <laughs> so hopefully we're, we're heading there now. I know I know the likelihood is small, me being here for an hour and seeing something, but yeah. crazier shit has happened. So yeah. we're trying to we're trying to bring you guys some excitement. Oh, there's always crazy stuff, man. Trust me. Like yeah. So these are the tires used to drag behind the patrol pickup to clean off all the footprints so that uh, after your shift is complete, you can see if there are any new prints. Simple, easy, but I'm assuming it works. Yeah, it works really well, actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The patrol split rock. How's your Spanish? Good. Good, really good. Yeah. So maybe we can ask. Yeah. There's nobody there. Is there anybody there? No, but I definitely see people yeah. here. children but you're saying normally that van is used to pick people up yeah yeah for transport um, and I did hear that supposedly they were coming over here so often that they were just starting to camp out right here and wait because we just couldn't, couldn't process them quick enough well this could be part of the story yeah Chiapas. ah Chiapas ah okay apenas cruzaste ahorita ah okay no te miraron la patrulla Ah, okay. ¿De dónde? ¿De Chiapas? Ah, ah okay. ¿Aquí se están quedando aquí? Ajá. So, he came from Chiapas, Mexico. They just crossed and he said they're just waiting. ¿Qué están esperando? ¿Que nomás llegue la patrulla para procesarlos? Ah, okay. So, they're just basically hanging out waiting for Border Patrol to come and then, you know, pick How long up. did it take him to cross over? ¿Cuánto tiempo duraste para llegar aquí de, de Chiapas? Este, creo que llevó tres días. ¿Tres días? Sí. Ah, okay. ¿Dangerous? ¿Peligroso? ¿Peligroso? Sí. ¿Es peligroso? Este, ¿El camino? Ajá. Allá? Sí, pues. My friend, ¿es posible uh, closer? ¿Cerca o no? Pues, sí. sí, amigo. Así es. Tell them to come oh, a little okay. closer. ¿Puede, puede venir más, más cerquita? ¿Está bien? So talk, ask him, you know English? No. To, no nada. Say what is the danger of crossing, uh, of him walking the three days? What danger oh. did he see? ¿Qué cree era el más peligroso de, de venir para acá en el camino en los tres días? Oh. ¿Violencia o este, de robar o demás? Pues, este, pues ahorita que venimos, pues todo, todo tranquilo. Todo tranquilo. Bueno, yo solo. Ah, okay. <coughs> Viene solo, pues. Viene solo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero. So he's traveling alone. Nada mal. Pues en el camino, pues hay igual allá, este, migración de ahí de México. Uh -huh. Ajá. más suben, a, nos bajan, nos revisan y así. Ah, okay. Así todo, todo el trayecto, todo el camino. Sí, verdad. Pues, okay, so like he said, uh, for the most part, it was pretty. Trank, like calm. Yeah, uh, he had an easy trip. He He's came by, by himself. himself. Yeah, yeah. Um, he said that on the Mexican side they have their own kind of like immigration that like, checks on them, make sure that like, nobody's doing okay. anything. But um, now, what will happen? He'll wait here, and Border Patrol will come pick him up. Yeah. So. Basically, he's just hanging out here waiting for these guys to come pick him up, take yeah. him back, process him, that kind of thing. Yeah. How's oh, going? yeah. How you doing, sir? Hello. How you doing? Who are you guys with? No one. Just a journalist. Yeah. What uh, channel? Chris Must List. Oh, YouTube channel. YouTube channel. Oh, okay. Better than a TV channel. Hey, you guys been squatting here for a while? or what? I used to work up here. I used to be Border Patrol up here. and I, I don't remember... Uh... No, we're not squatting. We're feeding them. Oh, you're yeah. out here helping them out yeah. when they cross? Okay, that's what I thought. Okay. Yeah. Do you mind answering a couple questions? No, I don't really want to be on camera, but... Uh... I won't show your face if you don't want to be seen. So what is it? You just, out of the kind-heartedness, you're here to help? Yep. Amazing. So I keep playing you guys. Yep, give them a cake, strawberries. Yeah. How many people are you seeing? Am I able to walk there? I won't show you if you don't want to be seen. This no problem. 
Um, oh, okay. Then sometimes it could, it could be 12, sometimes it could be 100, but I think but they're they, closing down this crossing. So we're not going to be here. We're packing up and moving to the next place. When you're saying we, it's more than one person, more yeah. than just yourself. The bus. Yeah. yeah. We're a kitchen. We feed people. Uh, is, is there a specific reason why you don't want to be on camera? Is, would you get in trouble for helping? Or is that the reason? Or No, just personal. I understand. Do you think there would be anybody there? I'm only here for one day. I came from Toronto oh, okay. driving. He's an ex-Border Patrol, so he's showing me the route that he used to go. So he's, he's trying to find a visit family here in the United States. So I was just asking yes. him where, where he, he intended to go. Yes. Um, he, so, but just so I understand, what will happen now? So now, basically, he's just waiting for Border Patrol to come pick him up and then process him, basically. And then he's released? Uh, ahorita, you know, I don't know, man. Um, what does he think is going to happen? Que ya hablaron, ha llegado una patrulla para hablar contigo ya o no? No. No, okay. No, ahorita no ha llegado nada. Okay. ¿Qué crees que va a pasar? ¿Que nomás te van a procesar y luego soltar? ¿O, o crees que te van a regresar a México? O? Pues uno no quisiera, ¿no? Este, regresar. Sí. Pero pues. No has oído nada no, en no. Donde, de dónde vienes que, no. hey, te lo están soltando. No. No, no okay. No tenemos ninguna información. So he says he doesn't know what's going to happen. He. he I was just asking him, where did you hear back at your home? Like, yeah. oh, hey, go to you know the U.S. They're letting you go. They're giving you. The, he said no. He didn't hear anything. He just came. Yeah. Is this your first time in the U.S.A. Primero. La primera vez. Sí. Aquí en los Estados Unidos. Primera vez. Ah, okay. Yeah. And his intention is to visit family. Uh huh. Vas a ir a Los Ángeles, dijiste. Oh. No, pues, pues en sí aquí vengo pues a pedir un asilo al gobierno. Ah, okay. Yeah, he doesn't know where exactly he's going. He's just trying to come claim asylum. Okay. Say, yeah. Escaping the violence of Mexico, basically. Yeah. He said he wasn't feeling well. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, he said we're heading to the ne uh, next place. Wherever more refugees are, we're going to keep feeding. After, uh, okay. after the fact. So there must have been a huge encampment here for a while, huh? Of, of people crossing? 15 to 100. Yeah, okay. 15 to 100 a day? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And today? It, just this. So, the gentleman doesn't know what's going to happen to him. The border patrol is going to take him, and then you have no idea what's going to happen. As far as I know, they go to a processing, processing facility. Yeah. Uh, they get set up for a court date, and then they're released. As far as I know. When you say release, released into the USA. Yep, into San Diego. There's a section where they get to hang out, and then when their court date comes, they got to go to court. And then that's what determines uh, if they stay or if they get to Yeah. I don't know how all that works, but that's what I've been. The eight days we've been here, if there's a couple of vans, they take the women and children first, make sure no families get separated, they do the families. And then yeah. if there's a large group, like 100, then they'll just pull up a big, like, Greyhound bus size yeah. van and everybody goes. I'm assuming it's almost like they, they wait for them to pile up a little bit before they come and then bring yeah. them well, in. Well, to... this morning a small group was escorted in. There was already two vans. They didn't even come and eat. They processed them right here and whoosh, out it. they went. Yeah, yeah. It was like 15 minutes. It was really fast. What about right now? Any small children? There's a couple of small children. I, I don't know if I'd go talk to the no. families without their consent. But yeah. What they're doing is they're probably working with Border Patrol, so what we, call, what we would call a stone garden. So different agencies get together and they work to help combat. Like, where, sorry, before they come, where, did, yeah. where is she from? Oh, de donde viene, señor? Mexico. Mexico. With the two children. Dos niños? Tres. 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 Ah, okay. Babies. Ask her how you speak English, no English. How long was the journey to get here? ¿Cuánto duraron en camino para llegar aquí? Two days, yeah. Is she scared at all or worried about the next step? in the process tienes miedo o preocupada de lo que va a pasar de este momento adelante miedo nervios sí scared nervous yeah does she know what's going to happen next si sabes qué va a pasar ya 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 hablaron con ustedes no trajeron unos papeles para firmar what is the paper what is the paper eso le dieron la patrulla fronteriza verdad sí okay so basically she's signing this, she's yeah. basically releasing out her own recognizance. Okay. Yeah. And then what? Where will you go? Uh, yeah. Where 
ustedes, en la familia o algo. Like we see Spanish, see in Chinese as well. Mama, me puedo meter. Hola, buenas, buenas. Sí. So do you have a place to go? Does she have a place to go from here? Tienes donde ir? Tienes donde ir? Sí. 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 Okay. And all these people just came. Thank you. Gracias. Gracias. All these people just came. Where did they come from? Were they in the tents, maybe? Well, it looks like BLM brought them over here. Who is BLM? B so, Bureau of Land Management is yeah. these white trucks sitting over here. Yes. So, they're also a federal agency, but they're more on the, uh, they manage like the desert side of it. So, they make sure people aren't off-roading where they're not supposed to, that type of thing. Yes. But they also work with Border Patrol. Yes. And, 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 but look at all these people. They said about 100 people a day come through this border crossing yeah. here. This is, this is every day, man. It's been like this for three, four years now. Wow. And two to three day walking with children as well but if i look yeah you know you you have a more of an experience i can't tell the difference between a good person and a bad person i have tattoos so i don't judge it on tattoos but i no. am seeing some guys with neck yeah neck i and mean face in this tattoos. group here there's probably a couple guys i would talk to more you know yeah um obviously there's families and stuff in here but you know you can tell by the their demeanor most of the times you can tell when it's somebody uh, that you really need to pay attention to when they're super like, uh, like uh, nervous, fidgety. No, like like obedient. Like, oh yes sir, yes sir. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, oh yes sir, yeah yeah. Whatever you say, sir. Like when they do that, I'm like, okay, this guy's done time now. Okay. This guy's been around the law, so he knows. And so usually those are the guys I'll cuff up. <laughs> yeah, and sure enough, man, I'll go back to the station. One of them's wanted for something. Yeah. The other one, you know. So what's happening, guys? Here, the bus in the background are Americans that are here to help feed. Uh, the migrants as they cross the border because can you imagine two or three days of walking mostly uh, without food and water so they're good Samaritans here here to help how long ago did he start this journey one month yeah well and did he have to walk across the desert here Caminando para cruzar aquí. Sí. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Todos vienen de Honduras y Ecuador, Brasil, Brasil, o brasileiro. Y China. En China, ya. Yeah. China. Oh, China. Mhm. Tú joven, ¿de dónde vienes? Ah. Ecuador. Ah, okay. Vienes solo, vienes solo. Solo. Ah, okay. okay. Man, he's too young to go through to go through this. Yeah, so this is a situation. Is maybe a maybe we can ask the father with the son how difficult it was getting here. Yeah. Because yeah, you know sure. from my experience I've heard like many people dying on the on the, 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 the route over. Fabian, tiene una puede ser unas preguntas? No quiere hablar de su viaje de llegar aquí a los Estados Unidos con su hijo. Yes. Hola. Yeah. Maybe you can tell us about how difficult the journey was to to get here. So, vienen de Ecuador, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto tiempo duraron en el camino para llegar hasta aquí? Oh, ya casi unos dos semanas más. Dos semanas, pero entonces. From Ecuador. De Ecuador hasta aquí, ¿cuánto crees? Más que unas dos semanas y media, más o menos más. Two and a half weeks. Sí. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But did you manually? Did he have to walk coming out of the desert? Yeah, so de Ecuador hasta aquí vinieron como en el tren, ¿verdad? Y luego caminando, sí. y luego en el, en el camión. Uh -huh. Y para llegar aquí, ¿caminaron? Sí, también. ¿Con las montañas? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Sí, ¿Cuánto well, tiempo crees caminaron? Como, ¿Cuántos minutos crees? Como unas dos horas más o menos. Más. So they walked for like two hours. Two hours, that's it. Here, yeah. yeah. Did he do this by himself or he had to pay somebody in order to ¿Les pagaron to los coyotes? ¿O están los coyotes lo, lo ayudaron nomás para llegar hasta aquí, verdad? Lo para entrar y luego... No, solo para, o sea, como uno no se conoce. Pues. ¿Tenían como tenían guía? ¿Guía para ayudarlos a llegar hasta aquí? Hasta allá, sí. Sí, pero ¿verdad? Okay. Uh -huh. So they have guides on the south side that bring them here to yeah. the border. Yeah. 
Um, the food guys usually don't come in anymore. For example, what is the fee that he had to pay that person to bring? Le dijeron cuánto le iban a cobrar si llegaron donde querían llegar. No, no me dijeron que nosotros venimos por la él y ni, do, ni otro hijo. No, no, hablaron con alguien que le dijeron, no, oh, pues por siete mil lo podemos llevar a Los Ángeles. No, no, no. Algo así, no, no. no. Okay. Oh. Well, yeah, most likely they made arrangements with somebody. He just doesn't want to say. Yeah, they're, usually they're scared. Yeah, they don't want to. They don't want to give any info. Or... Yeah. So, what made him bring his family here? Is there a reason? Uh, ¿Por qué traes su familia para acá? Oh, es que traje porque ellos quieren estar con la mamá. Oh, la mamá está acá. The mom. This is your both your children. Dos. Uh huh. See. He's my boy. Yeah. My... See. So now you're happy? Nervous? Buses. Nervous. Buses. Nervous? Yeah. I wish you much much luck, my friend. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Gotta go. Buses. That's crazy, man. Way different than when I was working up there. Taxi. <laughs> I guess the horn is every language. I see down there they're patrolled as well. So this gives you a small sample. This is a second pickup today of how many people have crossed through the border here. And look all the way from China. Crazy. Everybody coming with uh, the hope of a better life. Can you blame them? Look, they're willing, willingly getting into the back of Border Patrol. It seems like there's been a slightly different change of plans. Thank you for all your help with the translation. Young kids. I think this is the hardest part for me when I see the young kids. My throat, I have like knots in my throat. Look the little kids. I'm a man, but I'm emotional when I see the kids uh, here with their parents. You know, the, the hardest part is they're here, um, but I mean the risk that they took to get here. Man, if you love your kids enough to want a better life for them, I appreciate you. Legal or illegal, I appreciate you. If you're a good parent and your intention is for a better life, don't stop. Keep doing what you're doing. I can't imagine having to walk through the desert with my three children. Take them back to the station, process them, figure out if those families are real families or not. Um, and then Intel will talk to them. Uh, and then from that point, it's pretty much just like you saw that lady over there with her piece of paper. It's just, they just get released on their own recognizance, basically. These are a little make... Make sure they're not like coming back with anything criminal or anything, and that's it. Yeah, let me just take a look at this. Yeah. How far away is the border from here? Uh, like if we walked a little bit, would we see? So, yeah. So if we drive up to the top of the hill right here, you'll yeah. see the border on the other I side. I think if we could do that... Yeah. Um, guys, this is the, the story uh, that I was hoping to share with you guys. Uh, it's turned a little emotional for me. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I was expecting if, to see little kids here. Yeah, that's... If I'm uh, watching a sad movie, I'm the one that cries in the movie. So this is all laid out. Volunteers have laid out this, uh, this whole area, tents and stuff, for people to stay while waiting um, for Border Patrol to come and pick them up. Two rocky points? Yes. So that's where the, the scouts, the, the, the foot guides come north and they always hide up there and they'll just sit there with binos and watch us. 
Or watch Border Patrol. I like that. Binos. Yeah. <laughs> Not binoculars. Binos. Binos. Watch. See. Oh, what is this? This is a bigger area here. Look. You can see this area has been used. distance away everyone polite orderly This is why I film what I film. Now the excitement is up. Yeah. Earlier in the video, I was a bore. Now I'm awake. The engines <laughs> in my chest are moving. The excitement. Uh, I'm telling them he's got to be the new migrant patrol slash on YouTube yeah. here in the desert of El Centro. Well, thank you for your Spanish. If it were me, my Spanish is very basic. I got a hundred words. Uh, I'd be asking the same exact it's part question. Of the job for uh, 13 years. Yeah. So we're gonna go in. We're going as as far, I guess, as we can in. What does the sign say? Let me just see. Oh, private property. No shooting. Uh, we're gonna go as far in as possible to see if we can actually visibly see anybody crossing the border. Like this, what does it say there? Oh, look at this. So, we're actually seeing this live. So these are these guys just crossed right Look, now. Chinese. Yep, Chinese. Look at this. Is it Chinese? Yeah, it is yeah. Chinese. Wow, they're all Chinese, I think. Yeah, hello, hello. everything okay? All from China, uh, Vietnamese, Vietnamese, China, Vietnamese. When you walk 10 more minutes, there's the border patrol and there's food, you can eat some food and, and drink water. Okay, thank you. okay, how long have you guys been walking? Uh, around the 20 minutes. Oh, that's it? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Where are you from? China as well? China, yeah. Okay, good luck. Thank you, sir. Yeah. There you are. More coming. This is not... This is every day, dude. Yeah. Wow, this is like... No need to even jump a fence here. No. And there's a... Uh... That was a lot of Asian together. Yeah. It's almost... Scary how many people. Look, is yeah. she okay? Good. Yeah. Well, she got stuff. Let me tell the Border Patrol guy. Wow, they're just coming in. Tons and tons and tons and tons of people coming in. She doesn't look well. Her face is covered in sunscreen. But wow, look at people coming from everywhere. The border, you can see the border is not too too far away, so I'm presuming the closer we get. Hello. Hi. From China? Yeah. Honduras. Honduras. That's very far. Lejos. Lejos. Hey, uh, caminar 10 minutos más. Comida. No, no, now 10 minutes. There's food. There's food and water right there. 10 minutes. 10 minutos. Man, who would have thought? Like, it's, it's almost like a... A dam has been lifted in like a flow, like water, metaphorically. Just all these people crossing over the border. I want to get closer to the border to see. But, I mean, between the people we just saw and the people earlier, that's easily 50 people right here. And they said they only walked 20 minutes. So they're getting dropped off right at the border. 20 minute walk. Whereas other people have been walking for days. I want you folks that are watching today right now to be honest with me. Did you really think it was that easy? I didn't think it was that easy to cross the border. Man. 
see how many came up right now. We just saw like a yeah, I know they're <laughs> they're in packs. So I know as we get closer, we're definitely gonna see more. see more. Let's see how I told you. Like when stuff happens down there, it pushes this way. Yeah. So now everybody's coming through here, through this this uh, spot. And then as soon as some some something happens up here, then they're all gonna start going back down that way, crossing over there. So it just it just goes back and forth. Man. That's why it's hard to control it. I got I got my wish. I said hopefully we can see some migrants crossing and now it's almost like too easy. Yeah, now it's like too many. And we want to see some jump the fence now. Yeah. Make it more complex. But if it's open, there's no reason for people and to. And that's what I was hoping for you down there by the mall when we're in yeah. Mexico was that the Mexican nationals would start jumping over there because that's where they like to cross. No shooting. No trespassing. Signs have been replaced like a hundred times. Right? <laughs> They've been shot out. They get shot out. Like, <laughs> every every month they get shot out. Look here we go. There's the example. Yeah. Look at there's, there's the holes. Yeah. Yeah. So when I was working up here, this is this, this was the route every day. You come down here. He said he pulled the drag right now to clean up all the footprints from all these guys that just came in. Uh, but it looks like never, never ending. No, oh, it just it doesn't stop. Day and night. Obviously, these guys can't talk on camera, but you heard. Yeah. It's just nonstop Chinese, man. Yeah. Vietnamese. Yep. I asked them, they just said Viet and the Chinese. So we're coming up to. Those, those two points up there, um, and right in that saddle, yeah, it's always full of uh, scouts from Mexico. Um, foot guides up there watching uh, watching Border Patrol, looking for the right moment to cross everybody. But see, but when they're doing that, that's because it's it's Mexican nationals. You know what I mean? Um, OTMs, other than Mexicans, they can just walk right in. They know that nothing's gonna happen. So there's the fence. See how it just stops. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll go up to it right Yeah, now. that's got to be part of the story. <laughs> You've gone to that extent. You think it'd be <laughs> pretty easy to go a little further, but then they're just gonna climb over the. Yeah, the rocks. Probably see people Let me just jump out for a second. Yeah. Here we go. The footprints. See, just oh, look at that. Not too difficult. He has to come and clean up again with all this. So this has just been pushed out of the way. Not too difficult to go to and from. See, over here, they'll never, they'll never see anything cut or anything. They just, they just walk around. Yeah, not difficult. Look, now I'm in. Look, I'm here. Yeah, you're in Mexico. I'm in Mexico. Children's shoes. So why would somebody go that way? This is easy. It seems the easiest way to get across would be this way. Yeah, well, to be honest, the, the, the cartels, they control certain sections. So this section could belong to one okay. leader. And so he gets access to this, but nobody else does. Either. Now, there are some people that come across that don't want to be caught. Yeah. And they'll hide out a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Well, they'll, they'll, be, they'll, be, they'll be climbing up and above yeah. and going around. 
because they know they know the cameras are faced right here they know you know there's stuff that can go off that'll let them let forwards know they're here so they just what would be absolutely perfect is if 20 people came right now and i could catch them oh i'm sure crossing see the actual process of the crossing because that's that's the title of the video right like yeah. caught 22 chinese migrants <laughs> yeah. illegally crossing i guess that could be the title anyway oh that would be but really good it would be even better if we saw them right now well you can even use those chinese assholes as they come down yeah yeah i got some zoom in close-ups as well outside from up here but this is a wall yeah this is the wall going up and over okay i'll take you up to the top so you can see it driven all over the world and no where would you say your scariest road was oh, maybe Bolivia 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 was pretty crazy like a hundred foot drop off yeah, yeah. yeah. Nepal <laughs> Nepal too yeah because you had the what you add the wildlife factor that a tiger could be waiting for oh, you man. Oh, yeah right. any point we have mountain lions out here. Yeah. At one time, had to shoot a mountain lion. Was, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna was coming at him. So. I just walked, got lost, and never came out. Like, There's a lot of those uh, mountain goats out here. So this was my uh, one of my favorite spots when I was working in the patrol, coming up here. And, Call it high pointing or kind of look out south and see what to see miles back of group staging waiting to come north, you know. So I could literally sit here and scan south and then call the guys down and go, hey, dude, later on, uh, shift change, you're probably gonna have like these many people coming north because they're hanging out a little further back. But that's all they do is just wait for shift change. As you can see, you can see everything this way. Right. Um, as we get down here, oh, you want to show? I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get back out. Yeah. So with these people that were crossing. Where are they coming from? Like what distance okay, are they? So this area up here is called La Ruma Rosa. Um, and it's, there's an actual town back there. So that's where all the smugglers and everybody staged before they come north, before they come this way. So you see that road back there? Yeah. So basically what they do is they just drive down that road all the way down here to where these washes are down here. And then they just follow the wash and then they come north. So right now there's nobody on their way there? No. You so can't see Eventually, probably later on at shift change again, there'll, there'll, there'll be more cars coming down right here and then they'll just get out and then they'll just walk north. That's it. And they're in the U.S. Um. Yeah, up here, we used to get hit hard, really hard up here back in the day. But then the fence wasn't all the way through. It was open. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? No, no, no. You don't want to talk on camera? No. Where are you from? You don't want to say anything? Hello, guys. How are you doing? They're going to come and take you soon. Does anybody feel comfortable talking on camera? No, no, no. Nobody? I'm on your team. I'm not against you. No? You're from China? You don't feel comfortable telling me where you're from? Okay. Where are you guys from? Where are you from? Pais. What country? Honduras? Honduras. Lejos, muy lejos. Cuanto tiempo to aquí? Cuanto tiempo? Dos semanas? Tres. Mucho caminar? Pero problema or no problema? Sí. 
Sí, no, peligroso, ¿no? Peligroso. Sí. Ok. Thank you, gracias. Buena suerte. So people, some people here don't, they don't want to talk. Other people are not afraid to talk. It seems like the people from China want to stick to themselves. They don't want to talk, which holds me suspicious. Yeah, I understand. No, the Chinese don't want to talk, hiding oh. their face. <laughs> but too late, I already caught them on camera earlier. So, um, yeah, if you know another spot, weird because like to me if i've done nothing wrong they know what they've done crossing the border is illegal yeah they've already done the illegal part yeah talking to me on camera doesn't it's not gonna change doesn't me. hurt them so all the spanish were willing to talk yeah so they said they're from honduras it took three weeks yeah and lots of walking one guy took uh, a to walk across where i see that the asians have more money yeah. to uh to pay people to get them closer to the border right whereas the the spanish-speaking countries and and, and brazil it, it could be a lot more dangerous getting here. They don't have the money in the pocket to pay. Well, here, we'll get a look at them, whether they, <laughs> they like yeah. it or not, getting into uh, well, the border that's patrol. The too, it's the same with the Russians. When the Russians get here, they yeah. have so much money that they roll up with brand new clothes and yeah. Gucci and everything, yeah. you know? Like, yeah. It's gonna be about two hours. So you guys can get back in the tent. What's that? That big name. Two hours. Two. Two hours. Two hours, you understand? No. Two hours. You go back in the tent. Alright. I'll be back. So as you heard, the, the pickup truck or taxi or bus uh, will come back in two hours to pick them up. So I told them to go back in, into the tent and uh, relax. They got water bus? over there? Yeah, there's water and dessert, See cake. Bus? Back there. School bus over there. Water. Agua. Agua? Yep. Okay. You okay? You look like you were in trouble there. No? Mucho caminar? Si. How much? How long? Cuánto tiempo caminar? Cuatro horas. Cuatro horas. Si. And you from where? Donde país? Honduras. Honduras. And cuánto tiempo? Honduras aquí. Cuánto tiempo? Tres meses. Si. Solo? Sola. Three months. Uh -huh. Por qué aquí? Por qué? Um, mis papás. Papá aquí? No. No. Honduras. Sí. Pero tú mucho eh, dura. Uh, sola. Sola. Three months. No semanas or months. Una. Una. Quince eh, años. Yeah. Now you happy, feliz? Sí. 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 Dos horas. Eh, paper. Sí. And then free. Ah, go. Sí. Gracias. Congratulations. Thank you. Hey. Gusta agua, comida. Ah, yeah. Sí. <laughs> so what you didn't see is I just fell asleep snoring and <sighs> while he made a 45 minute by ah, while he made a 45 minute drive back to my YouTube Christmas list vehicle. So a special thank you, my friend. I appreciate it, uh, your time and effort and and your translation. Oh, well, you're welcome, sir. Again, no my problem, translation uh, would have been like big, small, tall, yeah. short, fat, one week, two weeks. You know what? Uh, it was awesome. It was great. It was fun. Um, it was cool showing you, you know, the area that I grew up in and, and the stuff I dealt with for 13 years, man. That was 13 years of dealing with that, you know? Um, yeah, it's amazing. I've got, I'm excited. And you know what? He mess with, he's messing with my mind because you know what he said to me? He said, you know what? Some, somebody, uh, you know what? <laughs> Let me try this one more time. Yeah. Maybe it's because my glasses are not on. Yeah. You know what he said? He said, what nobody does is film at night. Yeah. So already he's got the wheels working in my exactly. mind. He said, at night, I do have a flashlight. I yeah. could get a flashlight. <laughs> so I don't know if the, the video is over right now or it's just begun. Yeah. But stay tuned. Uh, thank you very much. Anything you'd like to promote? Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, for all you guys, when you check out the channel, um, check out my channel, Relaxation Channel 222. Uh, it's just basically rain video stuff for relaxation. So. I love rain. So, so I'm going to leave a link down below. Yeah. Uh, check him out. Uh, uh, incredible gentleman that helped me a lot without him. 
today would not be possible. So yeah. thank you, thank you, thank oh, you. Oh, and if you're in the Valley, Living yeah. Out Central Magazine, please check it out. You know, we support our local law enforcement and first responders, so. Wonderful. Thank you, Chris, appreciate it. Yeah, I'll put links down below to everything, so uh, check them out. So hold tight, let's see what, if this video is over or it's just begun, let's yeah. see. Let's As you may or may not be able to tell, let me clean these windows off. It is dark. It is complete darkness. I'm gonna head back to the wall. Let me prolong today's video a little bit. I'm solo dolo. I'm gonna head back to the wall and see what I can find. I'm about 10 minutes away now. Yes, yes, yes. I went for a little spin by the, the Trump wall and there's so many border patrol there and they don't know who I am. So I feel like I'm distracting them from their job, so. Instead of spending more time outside right now, I'm heading to Yuma, which is in Arizona. And over the next couple of days, I'm gonna do more migrant stuff uh, in Texas, the Texas area. Guys, I'm just trying to create some like iconic shit. You know, the kind of content that doesn't go stale after a week or two. You know, the, the kind of content that might even entice you to get up off your ass, your couch, respectfully, and do some touring or traveling your damn self, respectfully. In the next couple days, I'm meeting up with another YouTuber in Louisiana, in the bayou, to hunt some, What I, from what, my understanding, they're gigantic frogs. We're gonna hunt the frogs, the bullfrogs, and barbecue some frogs. That's in Louisiana in a couple days, so. For now, I'm gonna drive to Yuma, about 45 minutes, find a hotel, hopefully, and start editing today's video. But before I let you go, I just wanna ask a question. Like, guys, what are your thoughts on migrants? I'm not an American. It's difficult for me to touch or talk upon a topic in which I'm not inclusive to, if that makes sense. Um, you know, I, I think all humans deserve uh, the ability to make a living and live in freedom and but there has to be uh, a process, a due process. So I'm not angry at anyone that I saw today at all, unless they were doing something criminal that I was unaware of. Um, but they are doing something wrong. There's no way the USA can just open the floodgates and allow all these people in their country. So I don't know, guys, talk to me in the comment section. Let me know, what are your thoughts? The people that were found today, what should happen to them? Should they be put in a, a holding, like a prison? Or should they just sign a document and be free to go and start a new life in the USA? I'm, I'm curious to hear everyone's opinion. Good night, and I love you all. Thank you for watching.